Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a brand new and super exciting video. Well, at least for me, because it's about one of my favorite items, which is the basket bags. And um, and today I'll be comparing the Chloe Marcy basket tote versus the Loewe Raffia tote. I did a video about my basket bag collection and some of you were asking for a recommendation between these two but um summer is fast approaching you know it's the basket bag season and i am i probably should be the advocate for basket bags because i want to carry basket bags all year long i want to carry them to the market i don't even want to like carry bas you know plastic bags when i go to the market so when i go to the market i actually take my basket bag with me so i can carry my groceries and all that good stuff most of the time when i remember um <laughs> but um that's it about lifestyle I like, you know, just like, you know, take your basket back to the to the market and my style, as I said, is very kind of like, you um, French chic and stuff like that. I am that much of a glam person. I actually detest getting glam because it's almost like torture to me. I just love easy and free. I, I just love when something is just so effortless and easy and freedom most of all. So that's um, basket bags are my favorites. And as I said in that video, basket bags are kind of like embedded in me in a way because you know, I grew up in the countryside of Haiti and you know, I used to watch my aunts go to the market with their basket bags and I used to carry them. So it's a, a very common thing and I absolutely love them. So I think that's where my love for basket bags comes in, which I'm not mad about, honestly. I am, I, I love it. First thing first, let me tell you what I am wearing. Um, for my jewelry, my earrings gifted by the mother. Um, so I'm like, oh, the, yeah, diamond earrings. And then I just received my Anne Boylan um, art necklace, inner shoe necklace, I would say. So I was watching the life of the Tudors last week or two weeks ago, actually. And then because I'm like fascinated by things like that. That's what I used to read as a kid. I kind of like forgotten all about it, you know, over the last 15 years. Um, but I've kind of like, you know, I'm going back to my old roots, like the way that I used to be back then. So... I'm loving it. All the things that I used to read as a kid, all the things that I used to be so passionate about. So I was, I was watching a documentary about the lives of the Tudors, which is so fascinating. It's on Amazon Prime. And when it came time to speak about Anne Boylan, which was King Henry VIII's second wife or third wife, I believe. As soon as I, they, po they posted her picture on the screen, all I saw was the necklace she was wearing. So she was wearing this pearl necklace with the B and then the three dangling of pearl on the bottom. And I was like, I was shocked. I'm like, how come I've never seen this before? I was like, oh my God, this is the type of necklace I've been looking for for the longest time because I love a good initial necklace. But then again, most of them are just like super regular and I've never seen anything like this. And I can't believe, you know, I've kind of like never seen that before um so i was just like i was on the internet i had to pause the thing i was on the internet you know like searching and Berlin um, pearl necklace and then i find this place in the uk called historical places where they kind of like we make all the kind of like uh royal jewelry so any type of jewelry replica that you're looking for they have them so i ended up ordering this and it came really really fast it um I think it only take about a week or even less than a week to come and oh my goodness I, I am so so pleased with this necklace it's just so beautiful as you can see look at this detail like I've never seen anything so so perfect absolutely love it again this is not for everyone <laughs> so you don't have to let me know if you don't like it or not <laughs> it's not for everyone but um so yes that's where my necklace is from. I will link it below if you ladies are interested in checking that out. If you've been looking for something similar, again, I love a good monogram necklace, but the thing is they're all quite boring and like quite plain and expected. So this is exactly what I've been looking for because you guys know Pearl is just like, I am obsessed with pearls. I love pearls. I think pearls are just like so classy. Like, um, if you have classic style, you need pearls in your wardrobe. Like, absolutely. It's a requirement. Like, you must. Um, 
and my dress is a dress that i received yesterday this is a dupe for the love shack fancy dress i got this from chic wish i ordered this back in march and it's taken over a month to get here so if you're okay with waiting that long for it i would say order it but if you don't have the patience then i would say just shell the 400 dollars to to buy it i was to the point of, of just like just ask for a refund and then just order the you know the thing i think it's a really really good dupe honestly for the love shack fancy dress this is the dress it's absolutely beautiful and this is the back it kind of has like two buttons in the back i'll take my hair away as you can see like so it has two buttons and it sends you in in the waist area she reached just one a little bit um small so i would say size up i'm a size small so i got a medium just because i wanted a little bit of space let's get back to the basket bags as summer approaches i think it's time you invest in a basket bag and i invested in the loewe basket bag about i think i've had this bag for like over two years now this bag has been around for a few years now this is the bag that every it girl every fashion girl carries in the summertime because as you can see it is the coolest basket bag or beach bag out there i absolutely love this one from Louis again um even before that i had a really good collection of basket bag but when i saw this one i know i wanted to invest in it because again i just thought that that leather plaid just add that like coolness to it it just make it look so chic and so pretty and so perfect again i love the leather strap also um i am 5'3 so it's easy for me to just pop this over my shoulder but if you are taller than that you probably have trouble with that um this is a standard size or size medium i went to the store to look at them both and when i look at the small i was like oh the small is way too small it wouldn't work for me it's not practical for me to have the small because it's just i don't know it doesn't make sense for me but i do think sometimes if you want to go out the small could be a small little bag that you actually carry out in the summertime when you're not going somewhere that is super dressy where you kind of like feel out of place carrying a basket bag but um but for me personally, I have other cute basket bags that I'm happy to take out with me. And when it comes to the Louis V, I I want it in the medium size. Um, so I absolutely love this one. Again, the 10 color at the time was my favorite color that I used to get for all my shoes. And then at the time, I think I had gotten the Hermes slides in the 10 color. So I thought this would be like the perfect thing to match it. Or maybe I got this one first and then I got the Hermes sandals after but the tin color was the color that i used to always get and i got this right before they increased the price i bought this and literally like a week later they increased the price it used to be this used to be like 390 and literally the week after it was like 450 for this so if you had gotten this before then lucky you you saved some money but even then even now i would still get it for the 450 because i think it's absolutely worth it because i do think this is like the chic has basket bag evs i absolutely love this oh my goodness it's so so pretty what i love about this it's handmade it's like woven handmade so like every bag is unique like a lot of my friends has the same one and they're all unique some of them the raffia looks like a different color like simi has hers simi's just look a little bit lighter um and the shape it's a little bit more kind of like symmetric mine is kind of like more asymmetrical and deb has it and is different so every bag is unique i think that is like such like a cool component that everyone can buy the same bag but at the end of the day they're all so unique they all have like a unique feature about them again what drew me to this bag was, was that beautiful leather plaque from Loewe. although this is their brand logo it's not like obnoxious do you know some brands logo they put it there and it's just like it's so obnoxious you don't even want to carry it like, especially for me i just think i just like things that are more understated which is why i absolutely love Loewe because it's it's a spanish brand their brand i mean the brand the ethos is just like their aesthetic is just like so minimalistic in a way it's like so simple and so understated look at this it's just like the logo is just like so beautiful and the strap is adjustable as well so you can make it shorter if you want to or you can get um you can make it taller and then you can have the strap in two separate ways so you can have this kind of like go over the side so you can carry it 
like halfway so it really depends on you how you want to carry this I absolutely love it um, I love the detail here on the inside also with the Lueve logo it also come with this dust bag so you can keep it in check if you want to most people's problems with basket bag is because they kind of like open and I'm probably the exception to the rule that's my favorite thing about basket bags because it's so easy I just think it's all about you know in the summertime it's all about easy it's just the time to just put on your sunscreen in here just put up just like the regular stuff that you need so I have my wallet in here I have important stuff in here I am never kind of like worried I don't know for some reason I'm not really scared I don't really think someone is just gonna come to me and then try to put their hands in my bag in a way I don't know I'm very confident in that way and then also I literally have everything that I need in my app so if anyone was to just like put their hands in there steal my wallet I would be like have fun because I can literally lock everything in like two seconds I'll just be like oh okay cool have fun but you do have the option to um to put the insert in here a lot of people that's what they do they put the insert in here and then they put all their stuff in there and then you can close it if you want to and then you can also have this kind of like go on the on the strap here so you can have it kind of like go inside so that way um it's part of the bag in a way as you can see me do right here so you can put the strap in here so that way you can put all your stuff in there but this i only have it when it's like winter because it's like the only time when i don't carry the bag i absolutely think it's just like perfect um again what I love about this bag is very versatile. You can actually wear it out. You can style it with your minimalistic outfits or all your beautiful summer dresses. And you can also make it your beach bag if you want to. Again, they have a bigger size if you're interested in having it as a beach bag. But I take this to the beach all the time. And um, I roam around the city in this all the time. Like literally everywhere I go that's the bag that i take with me i do think the strap just make it so easy for you to carry so it's not like heavy at all it's just like super light and also it's super sturdy because this bag has been through so much i literally carry this bag almost every day in the summertime like almost every day and then i put so much stuff in there it carries quite a lot to be quite honest um i do think it's like pretty sturdy sometimes i even have my professional camera in there my vlog camera phone wallet all the other stuff because i do tend to carry quite a bit a lot of like backups of things that i need in my bag so um again i do think this bag is quite worth it i love and love it if i was to order it again i would probably um order it from um like farfetch because it will come really really fast and farfetch have the small one and the yellow so i'm gonna link everything below if you are um checking it out but i would say for everyday women on the city this is the one that i would go for um so yeah the next stop is the chloe marcy uh, beach bag and um i went for the white in this one they, this one also comes in the 10 color but the reason why i got this one is because i was actually going to get another Lueve in the white but then again i'm like mm, do i really want the same brand actually i would not mind having the Lueve in all the colors that it comes in to be quite honest because i think it's probably one of my favorite but i'm so so happy that i went for the chloe because i think the chloe is a lot more dressy so i would I could wear this to a really really nice lunch when I'm like you know beautifully like dressed up in a beautiful like kind of like white lace dress so I do think this is a little bit more dressy so if your style is a little bit more dressy during the day I absolutely um, I highly 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 recommend this one the Marcy basket bag love it and then if you can see the raffia in this one is lighter than the um loewe one and again kind of like very similar to feature to the loewe it has this kind of like a uh, leather plaque over here love it and then this is supposed to be i think like a pocket over here but i can't really put much in there maybe you can put your credit card in there so if you have any concern about someone stealing your credit card so this one is a, probably a good one for you to have because you can literally put your credit card in here if you want to or your keys 
whichever is easier for you but this is such a cool feature again with like gold hardware i absolutely love this bag again this is so so dressy i got this one at the end of september and that's the bag that i wore kind of like most of september because i was in need of something different and this one had just came to the market and i just kind of like snag it it's available now on farfetch again i'll leave the link below if you ladies want to check it out but um this is the inside of the chloe it's a good side um this one feels a lot sturdier than the loewe but the loewe is a little it's very very light so i do like that about the loewe it's just like oh just like fun and freedom this one feels a little bit sturdy like it's going to last longer but at the same time i do think it's kind of like the same bag but i would say in terms of sturdiness and quality wise this one probably i wouldn't say it's better quality but i would say this one is definitely more sturdy than the louis v and i do think the shape is very very nice compared to to the louis v but my louis v is quite unique i absolutely love her it's just like oh she's the cutest thing ever but um again this one comes with leather strap but these straps are not addressable and i must say these straps they get heavy after a while especially for someone like myself who likes to put all their stuff in the bag it's just like mm, actually i can't really do that in this one because it gets quite heavy when i am to kind of like carry it over my um like this you know again it gets over um heavy after a while and it's a lot harder to put over my shoulders in a way it's not as light as the louis v and then the strap keeps like you know fl flopping off all the time when i carry this so but then again i still recommend this one it's still one of my favorite basket bag i absolutely love her as well and it does come with a dust bag this dust bag is whiter and the louis v one is more of an oatmeal color this one is white does it say chloe of course and then it says chloe right here i don't know if you can see it again same idea you could do the same thing if you're someone who's worried about someone putting their hands in your bag then absolutely use um the dust bag for that but again like i said i'm not really worried about that in the summertime i just put the dust bag somewhere so i just pull them out in the winter to kind of like cover the bag just to protect them but in the summer i just like you know um put them in the drawer somewhere because i don't know i don't really care for that because that's the beauty for me of carrying a tote bag um or like a basket bag is just to just drop everything in there and just to be um and be good with it so this one is pricier than the louis v i think this one was around six hundred dollars but i still you know highly highly recommend it and like i said i really really love this one i think that's it in terms of the features now let's go for the comparison comparison is the price in terms of price the louis v is cheaper the chloe is a lot more expensive by about 210 actually so the difference is close to 200 it's about 170 dollars um you know between the louis v the louis v is a lot cheaper so so price that would be that in terms of lightness the louis v is lighter and easier to maneuver around the chloe is a lot heavier even just kind of like carrying it one hand like i can feel the weight on my left hand compared to this this i could just be like mm, all around but this one is a lot heavier aesthetic in terms of aesthetic maybe i don't know when it comes to beauty is subjective maybe most of you will find the chloe a lot more beautiful but i find this one prettier um let me let me look at them again i think maybe it's because i like this one maybe it's because this is my favorite like i said beauty is really subjective it's really what you like so i would say for the <laughs> let's go by the standard of beauty so for the standard of beauty a lot of you would probably say the chloe is prettier but in my eyes and opinion i like the louis v i think the louis v is prettier um because it's just like you know it's what works for you so in terms of weight again i don't know if i went into weight weight the louis v is lighter the chloe is heavier um we've already discussed price and in terms of quality Oh my god like my left hand is already just like killing me from just like holding this in terms of quality so if you hold the chloe compared to holding the louis v 
you would probably say the Chloe is better quality. It's a lot sturdier. Does that make it better quality? Again, it's up to you to see which one is better quality. Again, two different people, it will be different things. You'll probably say that the Chloe is better quality than the Loewe. And another detail about the Loewe is the white stitching on the handle. I think that is just like so beautiful, as you can see. It's just so nice to have the white stitching on here. I think it just adds like a really, really cool element to it. In terms of the bag that you would probably use the most, the one that you get a lot more wear out of it, Again, that's probably personal preference, but in my opinion, it would be the Loewe because the Loewe is a lot easier to just carry around and maneuver. As to the Chloe, you'll get tired of just carrying this because, again, it's already quite heavy for a basket bag. So I would say you will get a lot more wear out of the Loewe. In a way, if your style is more casual, you just like something that's just effortless to just like, you know, take with you. So that's kind of like my opinion um, in terms of that. So I'm just trying to see... How else to compare them? Okay, so in terms of sizing, the Chloe feels a little bit bigger, just a tiny bit bigger. Very, very slight bigger. So I'm just putting them against each other, as you can see here. So you would say they're like about the same sizes, but for some reason, the Chloe feels a little bit bigger. I think it's maybe because this one has more material to it. That's probably why. Um, height, they are about the same height, but the Chloe does look a tiny bit taller. But again, I think it's just like a, a design thing. Um, and in terms of what they can carry, I would say they can carry about the same amount of things, to be quite honest. The Louis V probably more, um, because again, it's a lot lighter, so you'll probably keep piling stuff into it. And again, um, the Chloe is a little bit heavier, but um, instead of sizing, I just think they're like the same, about the same size, but the Chloe does look a tiny bit, very slight bigger than the Loewe. So I guess for that, you may feel like you are getting your money's worth because it's a tiny bit um, bigger than that. But again, I still love the Loewe quite a bit. Um, again, I think this is just like a design thing because... Yeah, it's just how it's made. But I must say, when I look on the bottom here, the Chloe does look a little bit longer. So I would say in terms of size, the Chloe is a tiny bit bigger than the Louis V. And I think that's about it in terms of rating them. I can't really think of any other way to, to rate them. Um, in terms of which one is my favorite, of course, is the Loewe. I absolutely love the Chloe. It's one of my favorites. Um, but if I had to pick one, it will have to be the Loewe because I will get more wear out of this one, to be quite honest. And now thinking about it, I really want it in the white or the yellow. I, but I want a fun color because I have two classic colors. I want something fun. So the yellow is going to match my Hermes slides. So And then yellow is my favorite color color. So that's a problem for me. But then again, I feel like mm, maybe I want to venture out. So I'm thinking about getting the Jacquemus. So I'm thinking about getting the Jacquemus one in the pink. So do let me know which one I should get. Should I get the yellow Loewe or should I get the Jacquemus pink? Um, but then again, I think the pink will just be so fun to have. Again, I want to have it in a fun color. I do think the pink will be cool because then I, you know, typically like to already have a lot of things in the yellow but then again i just feel like the yellow will just match the hermes slide so well i already have a lot of hats that have like yellow into them i already have a lot of yellow bags so i think that one will go in my closet a lot better um than that but then again i'm like mm, i would probably want to have like another brand before i get another loewe but then again that loewe it's just it's calling my name it, it, it's just it's so loud so I don't know I'm thinking about it so we will see about that so that has been it in terms of battle of the basket bags between the Loewe and the Chloe again it's going to be up to you which one you prefer so do let me know which one do you have do, do let me know which one is your favorite and do let me know which one you will be getting after watching this video and do let me oh no also if this video was helpful 
at helping you make your decision again make your decision based on what you like actually my friend Courtney I think she texted me or sent me a message she was like um, I'm watching your basket bag collection and I am ready to invest in one and then she was like um, but I'm deciding between the Loewe and the Jacquemus one and the yellow and although the Jacquemus is my favorite but I consider her style because I know Courtney's style is a lot more colorful I just didn't think the Jacquemus one would be something for her. I feel like if your style is more classic, like myself, absolutely the Jacquemus will be for you. The 10 color is not for everyone. So I straight up told her like, absolutely go for the Jacquemus one because that's more fun, that's more you. I think you'll get a lot more wear out of that one. If you get the Loewe, it won't be, I don't think it will be for you. So again, as much as this is my favorite one, but in terms of choosing, you have to choose something that goes for you. I think that's one thing I want to reiterate on my channel. I don't want you to just like be buying things because you know you think you know it's going to look good on you or just go for your style. I've made that mistake for so long and I don't want you to do the same thing. Sometimes I just get things just because I see it on someone and then not taking in, into consideration my style. So I am taking in consideration your style. So you have to do what's right for you, what's right for your style. So I think if your style is kind of like more colorful, I think you'll get a lot more wear and fun out of the Jacquemus one. I absolutely love it. I think I'm getting the Jacquemus one because you know what? I wanted one with the long strap because I love the long strap and the Jacquemus one. It's so, so nice. So I think that was a great detail. I just wish the strap was on the inside instead of the outside but you know what i'm not even gonna complain but again in terms of kind of like every day for me and my favorite the uh, the way it takes the cake for me again if this bag goes to um you know where to like break in a sec i would buy i would buy this in a heartbeat i i love this one so much it's it's my favorite again i still love my chloe i wear my chloe especially with all my white dresses so that's what i do now and what i love about basket bag is so easy to change them because you can just go like this bloop into into the next one so in the summer i just rotate between these two except for when i'm going out at night then i can just take a smaller one but um when it's time to wear my, all my white dresses so that's the one that i usually go for again when i bought my hermes slides i thought you know what this would be the perfect bag to go with it so i thought this one would go with my brown so now i am looking for one to go my yellow my yellow hermes slide so i am probably going to end up getting that yellow one from Hermes. That yellow is just so stunning. As soon as I saw it at the girl in the Ball Harbor shops when I was in Miami, I was like, yeah, I need this ASAP, like ASAP. Um, so yeah, do let me know which one was your favorite. Do let me know which basket bag that you will be investing in in the summer. Do let me know, do you think it's worth it investing in a basket bag? Again, if it's your style, I absolutely think it you should and even if it isn't your style i still think that if you love designer pieces then this is something for you and if you're more of like a dressy 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 person if your style is glam then one that i would recommend is probably like the prada one but i love the prada i just think it's just like too expensive for what it is and uh but then again it's so pretty though if you're wearing like a beautiful beautiful zimmerman dress I think the Prada one is um, it's perfect for that. But in terms of you know basket bags that you can take to the beach and like everyday running errands, um, I think you should invest in either the Loewe, the Chloe, or the Jacquemus one. So next time I do the, this video, it's going to be between the three of them. So we will see. Thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye bye.